Welcome to Backstage with Block Tom. It's a real honour to have you here today. Thanks. So you're a trained dancer who grew up in Sydney. Can you tell us a little bit about your dance training and perhaps about some of the teachers that inspired you to dance, want to dance professionally? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, thank you for having me. It's a real okay. honour <laughs> to be here today. Um, I initially started training at a small school in Balmain where I was living. Uh -huh. um, I had a teacher called Miss Leanne. She was a great dancer. She danced uh, in commercial scene, in the commercial scene here in, uh, on TV and stuff like okay. that. And um, I then moved on to Newtown High School where I met Miss Lisa Munns and Miss Alison McKellar, which were a great influence to me. Mm -hmm. um, they really taught me a lot about contemporary dance and um, the power of contemporary dance and how it is so influential yeah. in the dance scene. Um, I decided to focus myself a bit more on ballet when I went to Tenny Pearson's. And then so you went off to Europe yep. and you started working, I believe, freelance dancing. I was in Germany for about two years and I had the great opportunity to do a secondment with a very, very contem German contemporary company. Mm -hmm. And um, it really exposed me to the physicality of dance and um, the raw passion that it can um, transcend on stage. Right. Um, I was then lucky enough to go on to a smaller ballet company in the Netherlands. So Tom, you were working overseas dancing, um, but then you came back to Australia. What was it that brought you back here? I suffered a cervical spinal cord injury while I was overseas. Mm -hmm. I was on a mini holiday with some friends and dove into the ocean and hit a shallow sandbank. Right. I was there for five weeks before being repatriated back home. Mm. I have been now undergoing physiotherapy for about two years and have made great recovery, as you Certainly. probably can yeah. tell. Um, it's incredible. Strength of will just seems like that has been absolutely fundamental in your recovery. Mm -hmm. I mean, where does your determination and strength come from? It's, it's so inspiring. Wow. Um, thank you for that. I, I really appreciate that. I, th I think my strength of will comes from, I'm not sure, I think you just, you have to. Mm. You have a lot of people telling you, um, that, you know, that it, this is, you've hit rock bottom or, you know, it can't get any worse. It can only get better from here. Mm -hmm. And I truly believe that we're always just getting better. Everything is only ever to get better. And yeah. if you, if you think positive, you will be in a positive situation. You know, you attract what you think and mm -hmm. you, what you give out to yeah. everyone. And I, I only want to give the best. So we're here today at Perfect Form Physiotherapy. Mm -hmm. Can you maybe talk a little bit about what brought you here and about your experience with Perfect Form Physiotherapy? Yeah, I've, um, I've been coming to Perfect Form for God knows how long now, since I was dancing in Australia, which right. has been about seven years ago. Oh, wow. Um, I was, I've been here to, to see Lisa, Lisa Howe. Oh. Um, she's the owner here. She's amazing. She's amazing. She really is a wonder. She has supported me the whole time through my recovery and uh, through my um, journey post, post accident. Mm -hmm. And um, she's really vested in supporting dancers, supporting the body, and she's really quite interested in the neurological side of things. So mm -hmm. it was a real wonder to have her on my side. Talk us through perhaps the process of the recovery and what that's been like. Yeah, um, it's very hard to put into words. Mm. It's a very, it's a very tough process. Um, initially, it involves a lot of adapting to the mm -hmm. situation. Um, that's perhaps more so mental than physical. Yeah, um, I've been through a lot of ups and downs. Mm -hmm. I have had a lot of success. Um, which I'm very, very fortunate about. Mm. I have been relatively quite lucky in my um, rehabilitation and that for me is a real treasure. Um, yeah. But I've 
I, I'm happy at where I am now and I'm feeling very fulfilled. Yeah, yeah, that's great. That's good to hear. Thank you. So how do you think having been a dancer or being a dancer has helped you in terms of reconnecting with the body and obviously helping with that progression of rehabilitation? Because as dancers, we know our bodies so well. Absolutely. So how do you think that has helped you in those terms? Definitely connecting with yourself is one of the most important things through this process. Mm -hmm. It's about um, knowing where, where your limits are mm -hmm. and being able to push through those. Mm -hmm. um, it's also about, about knowing when enough is enough and when you need to, when you need to take a moment take and rest. A break. Yep. Often in, in rehab, you'll, you'll get heaps better quite quickly and then you'll yep. plateau. And yeah. then you'll have that increase again. And so you need to assess and as a dancer, no one knows their body better than a dancer. Right. So you can really know when enough is enough mm -hmm. and when you've got a bit of extra juice in the tank, you know. Yeah, when you can push it that little bit Absolutely. further. Absolutely. Wow. Yep. Oh, thank you for sharing that with us. Mm, That's amazing. You. Tom, you work a lot with Dancers Directive to raise funds for the Prince of Wales Spinal Unit. Can you perhaps tell us a bit more about Dancers Directive and what they do exactly, and of course your involvement with their group? Uh, we're a dance-based fundraising initiative to okay. raise money for people that have experienced hardship and by bringing the dance community together for a dance evening. Mm. We have a dance gala coming up July 16. We've got a range of very special guests coming to perform on the night. We've got Casey Wallace, Dominic Ballard, mm -hmm. Zoe Cavendon, Laura Jones, they're all oh, wow. uh, professional dancers dancing overseas. We also have a very special excerpt from two in D minor, Raphael Bonicella's new work, oh. danced by the Sydney Dance Company pre-professional years. Oh. And we have a work from Paulina Quinteros, two in fact, and a work from Tim Podesta. Oh wow. So Tom, where is the gala being held? We're holding it at the Shaw School Theatre. They're a major sponsor of the gala this year and have been really supportive of our cause. So Tom, if someone wanted to get involved with the Dancers Directive, what could they do or how could they get in touch? They could jump online to www.dancersdirective.com. Mm -hmm. They can donate to us. They could uh, buy a ticket and come along. Are there still tickets available or? There's a few tickets available, but you've got to get in quick. Yeah. That definitely sounds like an amazing evening. It's going to be a real delight. <laughs> So Tom, we believe that you're currently undertaking a Bachelor of Science. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about that and maybe perhaps what you hope to do with that degree when you finish studying? I am studying a Bachelor of Science at the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm studying a major in neuroscience. I'm hoping that this will lead me one day to discovering perhaps a little bit more about my own injury, but about mm -hmm. other injuries that, have, that are happening within the nervous system. Um, could lead to some interesting places, I think, and uh, some very interesting work in the future. Tom, thank you so much for joining us on Backstage with Block today. You. Your story is truly one of hope and strength, and I think that you've inspired so many people, not just around you in your smaller community, but in the wider dance community as well. So thank you so much. Thank you for having me. It was a real pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs>